Welcome back to Let's Play the Writer. I'm Burning Dogface. As much as I hate to leave my little sentinels behind, we've got to get to that lighthouse. Wake ran for the light. It was pointless. He would never reach it. His life would be snuffed out just as easily as the very thing he thought would save him. You SOB. Even with the light gone, all I could do was keep going. It seems safe. Oh god. Oh, here it comes. There's a house over here. What the hell is that? Something standing in the light. I have to assume that's Zane. Eh, maybe it's just a tree. Wait, what? Looking around. Since we're being so frank here, Alan, and let me just reiterate how happy I am that you've had this breakthrough, I would like to summarize your condition. By all means. And please, just let me know if you think I'm being unfair. All right. Well, let's start with the obvious. The car crash. Untreated head trauma. All due respect to Doc Nelson, but he's hardly a neurosurgeon. I think that the injury has affected you more than you realize. Yeah, I, I have had bad headaches. Then there's your history of substance abuse, which, combined with your chronic insomnia, has resulted in hallucinations and extremely poor impulse control. That's a dangerous combination, one which your wife has unfortunately had to suffer from far more than you. I know. I know she has. I don't think I'm exaggerating when I say that you are existing in a state of all-encompassing denial. Your vivid fantasy casts you as a heroic victim and allows you to skirt responsibility for your own actions. It allows you to solve your imaginary problems and dismiss the things that truly trouble you. In your self-serving delusions, your personal problems are assets that allow you to save Alice, perhaps even the world. Dr. Harmon, I... I think that's spot on. I can't argue with any of that. Well, I'm sure I'm stating the obvious. I don't want to labor the point, but... What? Well, um... No, no. I understand. It's important that I face it. Precisely, Alan. You've put so much effort and imagination into this self-deception, but what good has it really done for you? You refused my offer of help, and here you are. Did being so obdurate really get you to a better place? No. No. And did it really help Alice? Yes, it did. Was this really the best thing for your wife? Probably not. Probably not. I didn't let go. It just uh, Why ended. Why find out? You know, I've been talking with her. There's something she wanted you to hear. Oh, hey. That sounds like fun. Do I have to hit the button? Yeah. All I ever wanted was to help you, Alan. I ate all the shit you handed out and tried to understand your pathetic, wealthy white male drama. Until my life consisted of managing your never-ending crisis. I hate you for your childish temper and the arrogance and self-indulgent pride that undermine all efforts to drag you out of the hole you insisted on digging for yourself. I hate you for leaving me in the dark with that insane monster bitch! All you had to do was act like a loving human being for once in your life and stay with me. If your dramatic exit hadn't been more important than making sure I was all right, she would never have taken me. I don't know where you went, but that's okay. I don't want to know. I don't think I'll ever be all right. 
The only thing that keeps me from killing myself is the hope that I'll never see you again. No. Ouch. I I just can't argue with that. I think I should stay here before I ruin what life she has left. I think this is a breakthrough, Alan. I'm really very proud of you. No. What the hell? Okay. Trying to hit that tool out the window. No. All right. It was nonsense. I knew I had saved her. I'd succeeded in that, and that was all that mattered. Oh. What I heard in there wasn't the truth. It was just another toxic mirage. It cut deep, but that made me all the more determined to force myself to snap out of it. I didn't want to be that guy anymore. I had to make myself see the light. That's a good way of putting it, Alan. Heartbreaker. Special 2. Have some poison poured in your ear. I like how they clearly label the uh, achievements you can only get in the uh, DLC. A nice touch. Okay. What is it this time? Oh. No. Ah, uh, no. Son of a bitch. Is it all gone down? Oh man. Yeah, no way, that's survivable. I think they even removed the items. Probably so as not to lure our players to leaping off to their deaths. Oh well, I got a box of bullets. I am slightly better off than I was. Wasn't there a window right here? Uh, oh. Tremor! Yes, that was not very well thought out in either of our parts. I hear you. I'll have to deal with these guys if I can find that uh, video game. Oh. Would you back off? Ah, fuck. Fucking throwing knives. God 
damn it. Oh. You stay out of here, uh, Johnny come lately. Well, alright then, I got the game. Piece of shit! Fuck you guys. Fuck your couch! I don't even know what that's a reference to, I've just heard people say it. I'm gonna be honest there. Zane! What am I doing? Of course there are no pages over here. seen that happen before. Little guy missed with his second swing, but not his first one. In any event, I was right there anyway, so it doesn't matter. Why is that out? Well done. You have come far, but there's still a little further to go. You must take full control of your own mind. Reject all of the fantasies you have constructed. Yeah, well, I think I can do that. A lot of the stuff I've seen here is personal and ugly as hell. I'll admit it hurts, but it's not fooling me. I know it's fake. Good. You are aware. The part of you bent on self-destruction is not. But you must be careful just because you know the lies for what they are. That doesn't make the danger any less real. I'll make it. I don't have any choice. Here. I cannot come any further, but this will help you on your way. Thanks. I guess. Ah. So now I've lost Zane and not Barry. Hey, the moon! Hey, I'm almost there. Oh, the saga's coming to an end, folks. Memory! Hey, let me tell you something, Alan. I know how your mind works. You screw up, then you start analyzing it, and before you know it, you start writing all these horror stories in your head. Don't you? Come on, I don't do that. <laughs> yes, you do. I know how it goes. You're a complete failure. I hate you and I'll never forgive you for whatever it was that you did. Am I wrong? Oh, man. See? I know you. But, Alan, it's all in your head. It is. I love you. And I'm not going anywhere. Now that is more like it. Good night. Whoa. Thanks. Lighthouse does not fuck around. They kept coming. There were too many of them. Hordes and hordes of them. Swarming over the landscape, eager to kill. They were coming for Wake. And this time they would get it with sheer numbers. Fuck. I'm gonna need the lighthouse. Hey, over here. Alright, this should be interesting. 
Holy shit. Where's your buddy? You're gonna have to do better than that, buddy. Clear. Oh! Yeah, I can make use of that. Protect the light, and the light will protect me. And how? Ah! Holy Christ! Oh no! I wasn't kidding with the numbers thing. Why am I moving? Why do I find myself incapable of locomotion? Oh god! Oh sweet Jesus! Well, they all went to hell with me. <clears throat> Yeesh. They kept coming! There were too many of them! The hordes and hordes swarming over the landscape, eager to kill us. They were coming for Wake, and this time they would get it with sheer numbers! Ah! Bitch! Oh. Oh, hot nonsense right here. And I got stuck on a rock. Oh, I hear them! No! Helpful! Oh no! Damn it! Oh god. I'll try it here. I mean, I'll try again from here in the next episode. I'm Burning Dogface, and this has been Let's Play the Writer. Stay in the light.